Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Venice and in this video, I'll be showing you 10 things to do in the pottery town of Mashiko in Tochigi Prefecture. So let's go! Located at the southeast corner of Tochigi Prefecture, Mashiko is a town well known for its local pottery called Mashikoyaki, which was made famous by artist Shoji Hamada during the 1930s. Him and his students Tatsuzo Shimaoka were also considered as Japan's living national treasures. One of the best ways to go around town is by bicycle. So upon arriving, we went directly to Mashiko Tourism Office where you may rent electric bicycles from 9am till 4pm for only 700 N. The office is located right beside Mashiko Station which is really convenient. <laughs> People here are so friendly. I know. Right? <laughs> wow. <laughs> here we are at Yoshimura Strawberry Park, and we're gonna check out the greenhouses. Let's go. Strawberry picking. <laughs> Our first stop is strawberry picking at the Yoshimura Strawberry Park, which is owned by Mr. Suichi and his family. The season for strawberry picking starts from December till May. When we arrived there, it was just a strawberry buffet because the place offers all-you-can-eat without time limit packages. Tochigi Prefecture is Japan's largest producer of strawberries. And in this activity, we were able to try different kinds of strawberries produced in this region, like this one. This is a uh, oishi, oishi berry. Let's try it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is oishi. Really good. Skyberry. Oh, no problem. It's very We're sweet. Mm. <laughs> this berry is called the Akihime. It's very long. <laughs> mm. I feel a bit. It's actually good. And this berry right here is called the Kaorino. They say that it smells like momo or peach. Let's try it. Does it smell like momo? It does! <laughs> <gasps> it smells like peach! It's very sweet. Oh, shit. Our second stop is sake tasting at Tono Ike Sake Brewery. The brewery produces Sanran Sake, which has won gold prize for six straight years at Japan Sake Awards. Admission to the brewery is free, and you may also enjoy sake tasting for an affordable price of 1,000 and 2,000 yen. Aside from different kinds of sake, they also offer interesting products made with sake like cosmetics, coffee, and ice cream. <laughs> At the back building, there is a gallery where you can learn about the history of the brewery. And we are here at, just at the end of the, the sake brewery, there's a room where they put all the old sake stuff, like tools they used to make sake before. And it's like a kind of a museum. It's so cool. And as you can see, they have this huge barrel for sake mixing. Ooh, look at that. I can fit inside, it's so big! Number 3 is SL Mocha Steam Engine Train, which links Shimodate, Mocha, Mashiko, and Motegi. It operates every Saturday, Sunday, and national holidays. If you want to get on a train, you may catch it at Mocha Station at 11.13 am, and then arrive in Mashiko at 11.34 am, which only costs 840 yen. Number 4. Visit a local shrine Just a few minutes from the Mashiko station is Kashima Shrine, where they also celebrate Hydrangea Festival during early summer around the last week of June. Yeah! <laughs> if you happen to visit during the weekend, you may want to check out the potter's tents at Mashiko Kyohan Center where you can shop or browse for local pottery which is good for everyday use. This weekend market offers very affordable products which ranges from a hundred to a few thousand yen. 
The town also holds a pottery fair every twice a year, one during the Golden Week and the other during the first week of November. Now we are here at the Mashiko Weekend Market where you can find really cheap and affordable pottery products. It's so cool. <laughs> We're gonna eat. For lunch, we ate at the Yamani restaurant, which is just across the pottery tents at the Mashiko Kyohan Center. The restaurant offers Japanese curry and soba, a Japanese buckwheat noodle dish. A meal costs around 870 yen to 1350 yen per person. The serving is huge and the food was delicious. One of the most famous activities in Mashiko is the pottery experience where you can make or paint your own pottery. We went to Mashiko Ceramic Art Club in Kominka Furuki for the pottery class. And aside from the locals, they also have international instructors who conducts English classes for foreigners like us. We took the afternoon course which starts from 1pm till 4pm and costs 3,800 yen. If you want to take home your work as a souvenir or as a gift for someone, they may deliver it to you for an extra cost for the firing and shipping. It's so cold. It's not that easy. I had so much fun doing the activity, and since it was my first time, I failed several times on the first tries. But the instructors are very nice and they're really good at teaching beginners like myself. So I finally was able to make a cup and a bowl, which made the whole experience really worth it. This is probably the highlight of my trip. <laughs> Number 8 on our list is visiting the Gallery of Peace at Mashiko Yu Wakan Hotel. Mashiko Yuwakan, formerly known as Nanma Hotel, built in Nikko, was moved to Mashiko and recently opened to the public. It was the building where the previous emperor, Emperor Akihito, stayed at during the end of World War II. It houses the Gallery of Peace where newspapers from that time are displayed and there is a recording where you can listen to Gyoku on Hoso or the Emperor's announcement ending World War II. The hotel offers traditional Japanese-style accommodations and services. You may find that they incorporated local Mashiko pottery in the interior design of the building. The cost per person a night starts from 7,000 yen. I'll be putting the link on the description box below. Most people coming to Mashiko shops for the local products. We get to visit two pottery shops. One is pottery shop Tsukamoto, right beside Mashiko Yuwakan, where I saw a lot of cute and colorful animal-shaped ceramics. And the second one is Toge Iken at Kyohan Center, where they sell items worth up to millions of yen, and also pottery works from famous artists. Lastly, we went back to Mashiko Kyohan Center to visit the local antique shop which was really interesting because they sell random things both cheap and expensive, which is also randomly scattered around the place. It was quite amusing. Then just outside the shop, we took a group picture right in front of the famous Mashiko's raccoon dog statue. Overall, the trip was amazing and I enjoyed it a lot. If ever you're considering coming to Mashiko, the easiest way to reach it from Tokyo is via Yakimono Liner Ibaraki Kotsu Bus from Akihabara Station, which takes approximately 2 hours and a half travel time. There are also buses available at JR Utsunomiya Station, which departs from platform number 14 and takes around 1 hour to reach Mashiko Station. And coming from Shimodate Station, it just takes a short 40 minutes train ride. I'll be putting the links on the description box below. For more information, please visit www.nearbytokyo.com slash mashiko. Before we end this video, I'd also want to mention visiting the local dolls display for the Hina Matsuri, which is a seasonal festival for young girls every third day of March. The dolls represents a royal wedding from the Heian period, and it's really pretty to see. 
So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you find this video helpful for your trip to Mashiko. And I'll see you again soon in my next video. Goodbye!